Hello, today I will show you how to repair an Opel Astra Vectra, maybe some, some else, models key fob. Sometimes it doesn't work, the battery may disconnect, or it's a common fault in these ones. So, just put a screwdriver or something and pry it open like this, remove it like so, then take these ones apart. You too can use a screwdriver or something, they usually come apart very easily. So, and then them just, well, there we go. As you can see, the battery just takes off. There's no connection between and it goes haywire. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Now, take out the PCB. Don't screw everything. Like this. Now you could see that the solder has broken off right here and here. And as an example, like this. Now we need to remove the battery. This is a pain in the ass. Don't know the correct way to do it, but just pry it out. And pray that you won't destroy it. Well, maybe another time. So, let's do it like so. You'll need a third hand tool. Trust me, you need it. Put it like in it. Oh, here you will see now. Just put a bit of solder on these legs, or maybe not, first don't do that, firstly you need to remove from, from these ones the, sol the excess solder, focus, focus, work with me. I want to work with me. Well, from you need to remove the solder from here and here. So put it in your third hand. Just see that you don't mess up anything. And my third hand tool is a bit smallish for this one. Here. Now that you inserted it in it, take a pump, solder pump, and just try to remove a bit. Well, maybe you won't need even a solder pump. I have shaky hands today. Very sheet. Well, then try not to try to insert it the right way in. Now you can remove it easily and try to access. of these pins. Well here. As you can see, the first one is all the way in. Now for the second one, this is a bit of how you do it. Here it goes in quite easily. Now put it in your third hand and solder the pins. And Right, so 
solder them in. As I said, it's not an easy job. Well, here we go. The first one is good. And the second one is good also. Now just remove it and put a bit of solder on your tip and solder a bit on here so it would stick really well I will show you as you can see it's now repaired like that here we have a solder job well, here is a little less older, but but it will do the job quite effectively. As you can see, now it works every time, and everything is just fine. Now it's the job to put it all back in to its case. Just don't mess the sides up. The LED goes in the side where is the red one. First, first just. Stick in the lower half and then push. Shitty hell. One of the legs just broke out. Don't use brute force. Don't. Because you will ruin it again. And you will need to redo it. Redo it. Just remember that the battery doesn't like heat. So don't put your soldering iron for a long time. Because it could explode. But if you work carefully enough you won't do a big mess probably but if you do try to clean it Attempt number two to solder this pin right here. And try to get the solder the thinnest one you can because it's a pain in the neck to do with. It should be perfect. Well, it's not. Boo -hoo for me. Third time the charm. Managed to put some solder in there, so now it could, it should be well e easier, quite easier to do. Just put your in there and squeeze it and there we go a nice and easy fix 
Just try to do it the first time, now as you can see. It's all good. Perfectly good. I got solder. Job and now everything's working again. And now we can put it all back in. This time without breaking it. Push it. And here we go. Just put it back together as it goes. As you can see, everything now is working. But remember, you will need to do the sequence to because the central locking will won't work if you change the battery or, or remove it or anything else. So you'll need to reestablish the connection between them. On Opel Astro, you just put in the key, turn on the ignition, and press the buttons, and everything will be just squeaky clean. <laughs> Well, not squeaky clean, but it will work. So, there you go. Cheers!